Yo, what's up guys? Steven here. So today we're going to be opening up 18 blister packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I have 12 of Maze of Memories. And then I have 6 of Legendary Duelist. So my thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! is I have not opened up a single Yu-Gi-Oh! pack since the original Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. I used to be into it as a kid. I would buy them and of course... I didn't know the value of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I didn't know that they'd ever be worth anything, so I played with them and trashed them. I probably had very rare cards, and then like every kid in the United States, or anywhere, I don't know what happened to my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They vanished just like everybody else's, right? But anyways, I did a little bit of research. I'm still learning, but I know the biggest things that we're looking for is collector rares, um, they have like kind of like a foil all over it. I know you can have foil on the regular cards. You can have like certain type of rares that has gold letters instead of silver letters. Um, but bear with me. If y'all see something that I miss in this video, please comment and let me know like, Hey, go grab that card, sleeve it up right now. Cause if you don't, you're losing out on money. I know the biggest one in maze of memories is there's like a fluor or something card. It's like a gray card. that's like flowers or something. I know that one's like really rare. I'm butchering the name cause I really don't know it. Um, I don't even know about legendary duelist. So yeah, I'm kind of going into this blind. So let's see what we pull. We got 18 blisters. And again, Hey, if y'all like this content again, I am a very random card channel like i like opening everything so i'm going to try everything and see what kind of bangers i can pull because i know they're everywhere i'm not that one person that's like oh football cards is it that's it no i see the value in every card so again if you like this content just make sure you like subscribe leave a comment you know share the video share it on your facebook instagram it really helps out man the more people we get watching and stuff um once i can really start like I, I hate to say it like this, but monetizing from this channel, then I'll truly be able to go and buy more packs using the money I would make from this instead of my own money. But either way, I don't care because I'm just collecting anyway. So <laughs> no matter to me. But no, nah, guys, I really do hope y'all enjoy this content. But we'll go ahead and dive into this first pack. All right, and bear with me if I mess up the na these names. So we got Treacherous Trap Hole. Suijin. All right, so that is like just a regular holographic, but it is like one of the gate guardians. So gate guardians combined. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that up. I'm gonna just put a sleeve on every hollow card that we pull, just cause again, I don't know the value. I'll end up probably calling one of my good friends and just asking his opinion like, hey, is these good cards or not? All right, so we got Labyrinth Wall, Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth, Perform, oh my goodness, Performable Duelist Extraordinaire, and Blackwing, Zip, Zip, oh my goodness, Zephyros the Elite. God bless, y'all gonna have to bear with me. I am about to butcher all of these, all of them. I'm telling you. I'm like the worst when it comes to any type of names. Alright. Mech Knight Yellow Star. Uh, Ryoku Guardian. There we go. Got another hollow. Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Let's leave that up at the end. Alright. Labyrinth Wall. Angel of Blue Tears, Battle Royal Mode joining, and Labyrinth Wall Shadow. Yeah, so you do get one holo card um, each pack, so that's kind of cool, I guess. But it doesn't, like, like you could still pull, like, the holo card could be the absolute rare holo card. It's not just like, oh, you get, like, in Pokemon, like... Oh, you can get the reverse hollow, and that's guaranteed, but you don't know what type of rare card you're going to get. No, it's like you, the hollow means it could be any one of them, so that's kind of cool. Prey of the Gyragumo, Treacherous Trap Hole, and we got number 39, Utopia Rising. 
That's a that's a pretty cool card. I feel like I'm gonna pull a really good card, and people are just gonna be looking at me like, "Oh my god, like this dude don't even know what he's holding right now." Sink of the Thunder. Okay, let me go ahead and sleeve this one up. Again, please let me know in the comments. If you're watching this, if I pulled something good, please let me know. They will be sitting on my table a couple of days after I post this video. So, all right, Overload Fusion, Prey of the Gyragumo. We got Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. I know the Gate Guardians are like really good to pull. So let me go ahead and sleeve that one up real quick. And we got. Double attack, wind, and thunder. I hate how like skinny the writing is. It's like makes it kind of hard to read. Include the moon shadow, Zephyrus the elite, and soul of the supreme king. Yeah, it kind of makes it hard to read sometimes. Like goodness gracious, I already wear glasses as is. Don't make it any harder on me. <laughs> I need bold font. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Make Knight Yellow Star. Oh, I totally just skipped one. Time to stand up. Solomon Judgment. Or Solemn Judgment. And we got Glute the Moon Shadow. Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Uh, Duelist Extraordinaire. And Make Knight Red Moon. Now, one thing I did read, like, this is actually a really small set. I think there's only like 60 something total cards in this whole set something like that it's not many so you'll see a lot of repetitive cards but honestly if you if you want me to be honest i didn't pick and choose like i literally grabbed the first however many and yeah but they were on sale at walmart usually they're like i think 4.99 and they were on sale for like 413 or something so wasn't bad overload fusion Red Eye Soul. We got Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. And then Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Court of Justice. Make Knight Red Moon. And Royal Decree. Not bad. Seems like all the hollows we're getting are the Gate Guardians. Put down in the comments, like, so I have not. Oh god, I couldn't even go and play Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Like I would have to study a whole lot before I ever went and tried to play Yu-Gi-Oh for real. Like are any of these cards actually like really really good? Like do they compare to the old cards? Like probably the old cards are weak now. All right, so Gate Guardian. Time to stand up. We got Super Ancient Deep Sea King whatever. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to say that one. Um, Mudan, the Rika Fairy. Senga, the Thunder. And Soul of the Supreme King. But yeah. For those that still actually play, go to tournaments and stuff. Like, how do the old cards compare? I'd like to kind of know. I guess I used to be so die hard. I remember whenever I went to the theater and actually went and watched uh, the Pyramid of Light movie and you got like the pack at the uh, movie theater. That was pretty cool. Supposedly like those closed packs actually can go for quite a bit of money. Like I think it's a hundred bucks and I couldn't even imagine if you had a graded like PSA 10 of a closed pack. Probably go for a lot. So Spellbook of Faith, Chaos Form. Ghoul of the Labyrinth and Nimble Angler and Soul of the Supreme King. Alright, cool. Let's get into the next one. Overload Fusion. 
Prey of Dragumu. Alright, we got another Gate Guardian. And this one's a Thunder and Wind. Um, Mudan and the Rika. Fairy. Moon Shadow. Royal Decree. And Rika Petal. Alright, cool. Let me go ahead and sleeve up that Gate Guardian. Alright, we got three packs of this left. And then we'll head over to the six packs of the other. I would have gotten like an actual like collector's box or something, but they didn't have any. They haven't had like any really Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. This is the only thing they had at Walmart. I went to Target, Meyer, and everything. All right. Prey of the Jirai, Gumo, Overload Fusion, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Did we not get a, did I skip a holographic? Trying to make sure I didn't skip them. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I think this is actually one of the really good ones. Yeah, this is gold. So this is actually one of the, I think this might be a collector rare. Teardrop of the Rika Queen. I know it's the gold writing, so gold writing means rare. I'll put that one in the top loader. Put a hard sleeve over that. That kind of makes me happy though. <laughs> Pulling one. Like for my first opening. Getting somewhat of like a pretty good card. I don't know how much the actual value is. But there it is. So you can see like the gold writing. That's pretty dope. It's pretty like good on centering too. That probably that might could get a ten. I gotta look up the PSA value. I know some of them like went for a lot. All right, we got two more packs. Can we pull one more? Yeah, I was like, something was up with that pack because I didn't see the uh, hollow card in the third slot. So, all right, we got Gate Garden winning water, and then burial from. A different dimension not gonna to try to say that deep dark trap house and nimble angler wonder what they got at the deep dark trap house is that where the darkest and darkest of traps are it's <laughs> funny all right we got one more pack of this let's get that last pack magic let's see if we can pull one more All right, Red Eye Soul, Make Knight, Yellow Star, On Your Mark Get Set Duel. Oh, that's cool. That's our first time pulling that. Angel of Blue Tears, Chaos Form, Battle Royal Mode, Join In, and Royal Decree. There we go. That's a cool hollow. All right, so that was the last pack of that. I don't think we did too bad. Now let's get into Legendary Duelist. Now these blisters was kind of cool. They were like the same price as the other ones. I think the other one's the newest set though, but these were, came with two packs in them each. And it was like literally the same price. So you get two packs instead of one. So can't beat that. So we got Silent Angler. Uh... I guess Marin says Sea Angel, Seventh Eternity, Marin says Crystal Heart, and Lemuria the Forgotten City. So these must not come with a guaranteed hollow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, second pack. Marin Seahorse. There's Sleepy Maiden. Or it seems like this is the hollow version. The silver. Full Armor Black Ray Lancer. Fastless and Wonderheart. Okay. Still, I don't think the silver is worth that much. But again, I'll go look up after the video. I could be completely wrong. Like I said, I didn't look up anything really on Legendary Duelist. 
so I know nothing too much about it. Uh, Torrential Tribute, Double Fin Shark, Frostaurus. Oh, there we go. What is that? That's a gold. Aqua. Okay, we'll sleeve that one up. Buzzsaw Shark. I hope that's worth a lot. <laughs> like I said, I didn't look up anything, so. But I know them gold letters. That means something. So let me go ahead and put that in the top loader. Look at that. Centering looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it has any white cornering. Uh, centering's kind of off on the back. See it's wider right here. Probably get like maybe a solid 8 or 9 though. Don't know if I'll actually send that off. Again, I gotta look up the value. With cards like that, you gotta look up, you know, what it sells for in a PSA 10, but you also gotta look up what it sells in for like an 8 and a 9, especially if you know it's already a little off center. It's probably gonna get an 8 or a 9. You gotta look up and see if it's, it probably is worth more raw than it is graded. All right, Kyrie Shen, Sea Stealth 2, Blue Tang, Wave, Cyber Shark. All right, we got two more packs. Let's see what we can pull. Let's get those last pack magic. Here we go. Marbled Rock, we got the Silver, Sleepy Maiden, Sea Stealth Attack. There we go, we got a Hollow. Spring Girl, then the Legendary Fisherman. Let me go ahead and put that in a sleeve. All right, last pack. What can we pull? Marble Rock, Sleepy Maiden, Pascalus, Crystal Heart, and Citadel Well. All right, guys. So that is it. Now. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say pulling these two made it worth it. I mean, of course, I'm going to have to do my research, but I think these two made it worth it, if you want my opinion. And then let's take a little recap of all the holographic ones we pulled. On your market set duel, spring girl, gate guardian wind and water, gate garden thunder and wind, spell book of fate, deep sea king, water and thunder, slum judgment, thunder and wind, number 39 utopia rising, super ancient deep sea king, and gate guardians combined. I think this one is actually the one you want, but uh, you gotta have all the other gate guardians as well. So that's pretty cool, man. We, you know, it seems like the common ones are like the Gate Guardians. And then, of course, the Gate Guardians combine is once you fuse all of them together. But hey, I really like these cards. Um, I really do appreciate my friend recommending me to try to get back into it. So yeah, I'll probably definitely be getting more. Let me know what y'all think. And again, I'll say it one more time. Hey, if y'all enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, share do whatever, man. It helps me out no matter what. But all right. Peace, guys.